Okay. Oh, I'll let the cameraman tell me when to start. Oh, you're good. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Troy Dawson. Uh, I'm a Fedora KDE SIG member. Uh, more specifically, I build the uh, KDE in Apple. So I build it for, well, rail, rail compatibles. Let's, let's start with a bit of history. Uh, with RHEL 7, KDE was in RHEL 7, uh, along with QT, both 3, 4, and 5. Uh, but that was KDE 5. With RHEL 8, uh, they ripped it out. And by they, I mean I actually ripped it out. They told me to. Um, I've, I've been a KDE user since, well, since I've been using Linux. I tried them, so that's 99. Um, I've been a KDE user, so when uh, I was asked to take it out of, of RHEL 8, I, I sort of, it was mixed feelings. I was sad, but I was excited because I knew then I could take it over in, in Apple and do what I wanted with it. Um, so where are we now? So RHEL 8. Those of you that are still RHEL 8 users, actually there's a lot of RHEL 8 users, I shouldn't say those of you. Um, we are at QT 5.15. Uh, those that don't know, uh, QT 5.15 is gonna be the last of the uh, QT 5 releases. From then on, it's gonna be patches. I don't know how long, right now we're at 0.9. Um, RHEL 8, isn't expecting any other QT updates unless they're critical security updates. And for KDE Plasma, uh, RHEL 8 is at version 5.24. We're at 5.24 because uh, I basically can't upgrade anymore. The libraries are so old, all the other, you know, Poplar, GPG Me, there's like five others. We just couldn't get it any further. Uh, so right now, that's where we're at, and that's where eight is going to stay. For nine, that's the more exciting part. Nine, currently, we're we're in this transition with Rail nine point two uh, that has Qt five point fifteen point three, and CentOS Stream that has five point fifteen point nine. So in Rail nine point three. Uh, QT is going to get updated. It's not going to get updated in RHEL 8. Again, that's probably just going to be critical updates uh, for RHEL 8. Um, but with 9, we keep pace with the, the latest stable Fedora. So we're not grabbing things from Rawhide. Right now we're grabbing things uh, from F28. And what happens is we upgrade them on CentOS Stream, so in this case, Apple 9 Next. Um, you'll see that they're both 5.27. Uh, because Qt is not going to get updated anymore, Plasma, from what we know, and I wish Neil was here, uh, is <laughs> staying with 5.27. I, I don't think it's going to go to 5.28, but anyway, just like Qt, they're just going to keep bumping that number up. Um, but uh, Apple 9 Next is currently, well, actually, it'll be starting next week. I'll be uh, updating from 5 Fedora 38. We go into Apple Next so that we can stage them when, you know, RHEL 9.3 comes out. Everything's already staged. We've got the build dependencies. Everything's tested. And then we can just sort of sync the, the diskit repos over to Apple 9, build them. It's nice and quick and easy, uh, and fewer surprises. There's always a surprise. I, I'm amazed. There's always a surprise, but it's, it's a lot better than if it wasn't. And this slide says what I just said. Uh, eight stay in the current release. Oh, that's right. Uh, if there is a major security release, we will try our best to backport, backport it to eight. Uh, if it's unbackportable, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that later. But uh, uh, eight also 
so we said it was 5.24. 5.24 is an LTS release. Um, so about once a year, I, I make sure, see if there's another release and I'll, I'll do that, but that's not a major upgrade. It's usually just some bug fixes. Um, RHEL 9, as I said, we're syncing twice a year with each release. The reason we're syncing twice a year instead of six months or once a year, those of you who remember last year or maybe a year and a half, we said we we're doing it once a year. Uh, that just wasn't practical. KDE was going too fast, and some of their packages says, you know, we, we need the previous release to build. Uh, so we're doing it twice a year. And, the up, you know, we test the updates. It's actually pretty stable and pretty good. That's one of the reasons why I like KDE. Now, this is probably what y'all came for. What are we going to do next? Uh, and for nine, it's not going to be too exciting. Uh, it's not in this slide. So nine, basically, we're continuing what we're going to do until we can't update anymore. We're going to follow the QT5. This is the current things, QT5 versions of Fedora 28. Now, at some point, Fedora is going to go to QT6. And nine is going to stay on five. That is the current plan. Uh, I'll, if we have time, which we probably will, since I, everybody could ask a question, then we'd still have time. <laughs> uh, if we have time, I, I have other thoughts, but uh, the current plan is we will stay with five. Although QT6 is in five, and we will continue to update it. Um, so 10, what are we doing for 10, rel 10? Uh, RHEL 10 is in our eyesights. RHEL 10 will have QT6 and it will have KDE Plasma 6. We will not be doing KDE Plasma 5. Um, we don't know how well they would match together anyway. But we will have the QT 5. Point, well, 15 point X. Uh, basically, we're going to be grabbing it from, well, RHEL 9. Well, Anyway, we're going to keep the latest one because RHEL 9 has to keep being supported by Yon, so RHEL 10 will keep that QT5 at least as long as RHEL 9 does. Um, but the, well, let's go back a little bit. So anyway, yeah. But the, the main desktop is supposed to be KDE Plasma 6. With 5, this is... This, you might, you'll look in this thing, and this is actually on, the, uh, we had a discussion on the KDE SIG, and you'll notice that most of these say should or can and things like this. No firm things. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So if things have to. So most QT5 packages will go into Apple 10. I can tell you one that's not, and that's QT5, QT Web Engine. That is a pain in the rear. I ain't putting it over there. Um, <laughs> you shouldn't need it. QT6, QT Web Engine, yes, that's great. Don't, don't expect QT5. But the other basic libraries, uh, as long as they aren't a pain in the rear, will be going into Apple 10. So if a QT5 package is no longer supported in Fedora, that package will be updated in Apple 10 on a best effort manner, which means that it's possible we might drop some QT5 packages down the road if there are some bad security updates. Um, I'm, I'm a great packager, and the KDE SIG is great with things, but I am not the best security update uh, person for QT5. Packages based on QT5. Um, there's still quite a few that are QT5 only. Uh, if they can be built with both QT6 and QT5, we ask, the, here's the should. They should only be built on QT6. If you want to, we're not going to force you to not build the QT5 version. But we're recommending that you build QT6 only or have some plan of phasing it to QT6. If it can only be built on QT5, um, go ahead, build it on QT5, but 
I tried to move upstream to get them to do QT6. I mean, by the time, I, I, I know we're planning on working on Apple 10 soon-ish, <laughs> but by the time it's actually released, I mean, that's still, what is that? Are we still two years out? Okay, it's still two years out. QT6 should have been out for a good long while by the time Apple 10 is actually released. So try to get them all built on, on QT6. Oh, wow. I am. Um, okay, let me do the. Oh, we do have questions. Good. Uh, so, first of all, I. I realized that I said I was Misha, but I don't know if you knew that I'm that Misha who tried to run your build before it was operational. Oh, uh, oh okay. <laughs> are you the one that is doing the live? Sorry? Are you the one, Misha, are you doing the live image? Uh, no. Oh, I, you're the... the I, I, was do, I was trying at that time to use Rail to work. Okay. I have since relented from that idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, I was talking to you at the time extensively. And I tried to install your build. The problem is I did that too early. Uh, it wasn't operational, and I couldn't even update to an operational one later. Yeah. Uh, without installing the RHEL, but at the time, a laptop uh, renewal came, and I just went back to Fedora. Uh, so, but this is what I wanted to ask since then. Okay. Uh, you're doing a great job with KDE, but uh, this sounds like a one-person project. It's what happens to KDE in Intel if you are Kevela? It sounds like a one-person project, but uh, really the KDE SIG, I am the, I am the rebuilder. The KDE SIG, uh, and if Neil was here, I, I put, he does a lot of things. If he gets hit in the bus, me and him shouldn't be on the same bus that gets hit by. But, uh, the KDE SIG actually does a lot of work to make sure things build in Apple, so that I only have to do a, a rebuild. Um, and there is other people that can do it. I have my scripts. Uh, people have my scripts. Uh, I am nowadays, okay, at the early days of RHEL 8, I was doing a lot of stuff. But then the, the SIG, said, hey, we're going to make sure things build on both RHEL and Fedora. And they've been very good at putting those if statements and anything else. Uh, this last one, uh, getting ready for the Apple 9 Next, I literally had to do one package. I, I did the test builds on copper and went, oh, OK. And there was like one package. I, I did the pull request. And to be honest, it didn't build on Fedora either. So anyway, I built, I found their. Great. <laughs> so, so, okay. I have a question too is about the process as you described. When you mentioned that you would now want to sync with a uh, stable Fedora mm -hmm. once in half a year. Yes. This doesn't jive very well with KDE's approach, uh, like it or not, uh, to their own release cadence, whether. Uh, they have only half a year of a supported uh, release. And then Why doesn't that fit? You just said twice a year, and then you said half a year. That's yeah, six so, months. Yeah, for six months. So is the idea that you would try to synchronize with Fedora yeah. right after it takes up the new stable KE? Uh, so, and then you No, we, we, well, we, we don't. Um, right now, I, I use, they, first off, they don't, the, I should, the, the stable Fedora. So right now it's Fedora 38. What Fedora does, they will put things in Rawhide and they won't even put it into the next one until it's at least a 0.1. And I won't bring it into the Apple until it's at least a 0.2. Ah, I see. So, so, so it's a good point, but uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to minimize the time when the system, uh, when the KDE version in RHEL, well, Intel, yeah. is not supported by the KDE product. 
Yeah, because we, we originally said one year, and like you said, KDE is doing it every six months, and it, it just wasn't working. So we shifted to every six months. Well, they do have an LTF. Yeah, but uh, we've, and that's what we stuck eight on. But we were finding that that's what we tried to do for the year, and but then when we tried to jump, it, it was just easier to do the every six months. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because it, cause it's, we want the, the bigger bugs to get shaken out first. But thank you for the questions, those are very good. Yes? Uh, when are you going to submit a change proposal for KDE to be shipped in Fedora Workstation by default? Okay, the question was, when are you going to put a change change proposal to have Fedora KDE shipped in workstation instead of GNOME. Instead of GNOME. <laughs> no, they are not fighting words. Um, I, I, I have, I, I, are any GNOME people watching this? <laughs> oh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, this is not the, the KDE SIG meeting. This is the Apple one. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't mind it being a spin. Uh, I did push dramatically. Um, I am so grateful for the web redo because when it has workstation, here's some alternate things that are coming up. Here's documentation. Here's something else. Oh, at the bottom of the page, <laughs> be, you know, below testing and stuff is the KDE spin. It's like, yeah, that's sort of an uh, insult. <laughs> I, know, I know the spins are it, tracked, like in the county data. How does default workstation compare to... Oh, yeah, we've got the mic. Um, how, does, how, does, how does the KDE spin uh, stack up against workstation just in in terms of usage I don't, have you looked uh, um, at the count me data I can't answer that standing at this podium not because I don't want to but for my Apple talk I use Matt's things and it has that oh okay he, he doesn't ever say that but I have it on my laptop <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah, I, I know the data's there. I just haven't looked at it. I'm um, curious. I'll, I'll tell you in about 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I never looked at that because it's on the Fedora graphs. And I could be wrong. Maybe it isn't. Um, anything else? Oh, I actually almost took up my time. Um, I'm hoping other people show up because I'm supposed to give the next talk with somebody else. <laughs> They're not in the room. Um, anything else? We can end a little early if we want. Okay. <laughs>